hey guys i welcome you back to my channel so our today's topic of discussion will be oral signs of covid-19 so we all know that apart from the pulmonary and extra pulmonary manifestations of covid-19 the coronavirus has also been held responsible for various types of oral disease which makes our oral cavity non healthy so today we'll be seeing that what all oral lesions does coronavirus causes but before that we need to learn that uh, what is the direct link between the coronavirus and the mouth okay so some of the studies they suggest that the coronavirus has high affinity for ace2 receptors that is angiotensin converting enzyme receptor so studies suggest that the mouth might be the most vulnerable area to this virus because of the abundance of the ace2 receptor in the oral tissue so uh, this ace2 receptor for which the coronavirus has an affinity so this receptor has been found in abundance in our oral tissues so that is why there is direct link between the oral lesions and the coronavirus so this ace2 receptor and an enzyme called transmembrane protease cell 2 it allows the virus to fuse its membrane with that of the host cell and in this way the virus slips inside the cell so then why oral changes are seen okay so uh, compared with the other oral tissues cells of salivary glands tongue and tonsils they carry the most rna linked to proteins that the coronavirus needs to infect the cells and also the ace2 receptors as we have seen that they are most abundantly present in the oral tissues so among that they are also most abundantly present in salivary gland tonsils and tongue so that is why oral changes are seen most commonly in these parts now coming on to the oral lesion so first and foremost lesion is gingival inflammation so how does it occur after the infection so this infection it gives rise to the inflammation in the tissues because of this inflammation there is increase in cytokines and interleukins more specifically interleukin 6 and this leads to the cytokine storm because of this cytokine storm there is a gingival inflammation which occurs in the tissue which leads to the tissue breakdown and the redness of gingiva next that is xerostomia which is also called as dry mouth so the two basic reasons for xerostomia is first and foremost is because of the continuous use of masks okay so because of the continuous use of mask the mouth breathing it desiccates the oral tissue else we do not keep ourselves hydrated so because of the uh, frequent dehydration and mouth breathing and continuous use of mask it usually leads to xerostomia second reason is the vulnerability of the salivary glands to the coronavirus so another biologic mechanism it involves the the viral entry into the salivary glands Uh, because uh, it has been already studied that the salivary glands has numerous ace2 receptors and as the uh, coronavirus has high affinity for ace2 receptor it enters the salivary gland very easily and this leads to xerostomia coming on to next that is oral ulcerations and tissue breakdown so virus it gains entry through the ace2 receptors we know that the all the capillaries they are lined with the endothelial cells and this endothelial cells they have they have high amount of ace2 receptors and because of the highest affinity for ace2 receptors the coronavirus it slips inside the endothelial cells and into the capillaries on entering the capillaries it damages the cells and this leads to the oxygen deprivation and decrease of the po2 levels further this leads to tissue necrosis and ulcerations and breakdown of the epithelial tissue moving on to next that is cracked teeth so cracked teeth it is uh, mostly occurring due to bruxism bruxism it is mostly because of the psychological stress from the pandemic this psychological stress it plays a major role in stress related tooth fracture then it might be because of the poor orthopedic posture or it might be because of the sleep deprivation or obstructive sleep apnea so this sleep deprivation also uh, it could result in the bruxism and this bruxism can lead to cracked teeth so these are the various reasons uh, for the occurrence of the cracked teeth among which the most common reason is the bruxism and the stress related to the pandemic 
Coming on to next that is loss of taste and smell. But the reason for this loss of taste and smell is so for the loss of smell it is suspected to be the viral disruption of the cranial nerve number 1, 7, 9 and 10. So because of the disruption of these nerves as well as the supporting cells of the neural transmission the patient suffers from loss of smell or anosmia. Whereas loss of taste it occurs because the tongue has an abundance of ACE2 receptors again. So as because of the abundance of ACE2 receptors there is direct viral entry into the tongue cells and it uh, disrupts the tongue buds. So it disrupts the taste buds that is how it leads to loss of taste or aguasia. And lastly the covid tongue. So this covid tongue it is usually red patchy and inflammatory blotches which are present over the sides and top of the tongue most commonly. They might be painful or painless. Uh, it very closely resembles to the benign migratory glossitis. Hence you should always uh, check it clinically and should be sure for the diagnosis. So I hope you guys have liked the video. Thank you so much for the patient listening. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe my channel Akshay Bhandari's Dental Videos for more such content. Thank you. Have a nice day.